Hello, writers. I hope you are doing well, and I hope that you had a chance to watch the read aloud of The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. It is one of my very favorite books of all times. Um, I think just because the subject of The Naked Mole Rat is just um, intriguing and different, and um, it, I know when I read it for the very first time, I went back and researched about The Naked Mole Rat just to learn more because um, it's a real it's a it's a real animal they're only like this big they're itty bitty I've even seen them at the zoo before um but it was fun to go back and learn more about the naked mole rat uh after reading this book by Mo Willems and so I hope that you enjoyed it I hope that you saw the message behind it of it's okay to be different and have a little fun in life right um and that uh we can um enjoy each other's differences um, and try some new things out every now and then. So I hope that you enjoyed that book. And now we're gonna take a look at a sentence from Mo Willem's book, um, The Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed. And this sentence that we're going to look at today says, when he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Hmm. What do you notice in this sentence? What are some choices that Mo Willems made as a writer when he wrote this sentence? You may have noticed the capital letter at the beginning and the period at the end. Again, we need those for a reader, right? We have got to use our capital letters and our periods or our end marks to let the reader know we are finished with that idea before we move on to another one. And you may have also noticed that Wilbur is capitalized because that's a name. There's no other capital letters in that sentence. And I think that's important to notice as well um, that we only use capital letters at the beginning of sentences and for names. And then of course, if we have the pronoun I, uh, we always use a capital letter for that. But other than that, we don't. So in our own writing, we shouldn't have random capital letters or capital letters in the middle of our words or in the middle of our sentences, unless we're doing that for a specific reason. Um, because everything we do is a choice that we make to have an effect on our reader in some way. So let's go back to the sentence now. Uh, you, you may have also noticed a little two word sentence inside of that. Did you notice Wilbur discovered? You may have noticed even he returned, right? Uh, Cause that's another two word sentence. But if we um, were to look at that comma because I know that comma is sticking out at you. If we were to look at that comma, we know the comma is there to separate. And if you participated in um, one of our earlier lessons, we can see right off the bat that we have an opener there, right? When he returned, comma, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. So if we look after the comma, Wilbur discovered he was not alone, can that be a sentence by itself? Yes, it can. We have our subject, Wilbur, our verb, discovered. We are good to go there. Before the comma, when he returned, can that be a sentence by itself? No, it can't. It can't because of that word when. That word when is causing that um, when he returned, that opener to remain dependent. Like it needs the rest of the sentence to make sense. So that's why we have that comma there to separate the opener from the rest of the sentence. Again, the author is setting us up for the rest of the sentence. So when he returned, comma, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. So again, when we use an opener, we need a comma. But in this case, our opener actually uses a certain word. And in this sentence, it uses when. There are a lot of words that we can use at the beginning of these openers that have the same effect. And those are called, we have, we have a certain word for it, just like fanboys for compound sentences. We have a woobus. Say a woobus. A woobus words are words that start off openers um, that we can use. They are technically called subordinating conjunctions, but we like to use a woobus to help us know that when we start a sentence with an awoobus word, I probably need a comma. 
And that's part of my opener. So, hmm, what does AWUBIS stand for? Now, you may have learned this before you, um, before school closed, and you may not have. So I am going to share that with you today. Here is our opener sentence visual, okay? The sentence is the subject and the verb. The opener cannot be by itself. That's why it's not inside the green box. And here is a Wubis. If you wanna take a minute now and pause the video, you can go get a piece of paper and a pencil and trace your hands and write down a Wubis because there are 10 of them that we can use to make complex sentences. So after, although, as, when, while, until, because, before, if, since. Those are the 10 subordinating conjunctions that are most common when starting off a complex sentence. So if you want to go ahead and pause it and draw your hands and write these down so you have them in the future, go ahead and do so. Now we're gonna take a look at another sentence and compare the two. So we have, although school closed for weeks, we still learned from our teachers. Hmm, what do you see is the same in the two sentences and what do you see is different? So I know right away you noticed the uh, woobus starting off each sentence. We have when in the first one and although in the second one. That's right, so we have our opener and our sentence. Although school closed for weeks, comma, we still learned from our teachers, right? We still learned from our teachers is a sentence. We is the subject. Still learned is our verb. Hmm, what else do you notice? Yep, both senses begin with a capital letter, end with a period. Oh, in that second sentence, there's no other capital letters, right? Because we don't have the names of anybody in there. Our subject that time is we. Which is plural, right? We're talking about more than one in that sentence. You may have also noticed both sentences are past tense. They've already happened. Our verbs are in the past. So just as a reminder, when I start a sentence with an awoobus, I probably need a comma. And uh, when we come back together for our next video, we will write our own sentence using an awoobus. Have fun.